Welcome to this edition of Intelligent Video Today. I'm your host, Steve Onerhar. Joining us on today's episode, Vidya Narayanan, CEO over at Rizzo. Welcome, Vidya. Thanks for having me, Steve. Excited to be here. Uh, absolutely. So tell us a little bit about Rizzo. Uh, give us a quick review of uh, what you folks, uh, how you folks launched. And you've been going through a repositioning in the past year. Tell us about that, too. Absolutely. Um, Rizzle used to be a short video platform with AI-based video creation for everyday social media entertainment until 2023. And with generative AI, we saw this massive opportunity to expedite video editing with AI. And now we have the number one AI-assisted platform for video creation. And what we do now is create videos from text articles, from podcasts, both audio and video, and long-form video content. But because we have run a distribution platform, we know firsthand how difficult it is to make a video highly engaging and how to get people to actually watch your video uh, beyond the first three seconds of it. And so, and we've also built a very rich video technology pipeline that is capable of producing highly dynamic visual outputs that rival manually edited video content. So that's what we do today. Excellent. So walk us through how you're actually integrating AI into the video production process. Uh, uh, does Can AI really play a process in simplifying the video creation workflow? Yeah, the, the video AI landscape can be actually quite confusing. So just to be clear, we're not a generative video platform like Sora or Vio or any one of these things. We use AI to tell end-to-end -end stories by pulling together relevant footage from your camera inputs, from stock media, from maps, from infographics and, and charts, uh, and background music, and all other elements required for storytelling. So here, let's take one of our most important segments, which is YouTube. Now, we help podcasters and YouTubers uh, create teasers, highlights, and clips from their longer form audio or video content. Let's say you have a podcast like this one where you and I are talking, we have the speaker video available. Rizzle will put together a compelling teaser that goes in the front of your video that makes your first minute of the video super compelling so that you get people to actually watch it fully. And you can then derive multiple highlights and clips from a longer form uh, podcast like this to multiply your engagement. And we see top YouTubers and podcasters doing this all the time. Uh, for example, take Lex Friedman, uh, he does a two-hour interview with Sam Altman and then goes on to derive about 20 clips from that and shares that separately. And this results in almost doubling the engagement and monetization uh, for him. Um, YouTubers like him and, for example, Destiny, another large YouTuber, they end up spending as much as $600,000 on their editing process. It's quite expensive. And those who cannot afford it spend... 30 to 60 hours a month editing their video content. So Rizzle is bringing these, this capability to every podcaster, every YouTuber out there. What takes several hours now can take about 15 to 30 minutes. That's the power of AI we're unlocking. And, and for us, our North Star metrics are to save time and money for YouTubers while preserving or even improving the quality of video outputs that they're creating. Now walk us through uh, the, exactly the types of AI capabilities that you're infusing into the Rizzle platform. You use uh, external utilities from OpenAI. Tell us how and uh, how you picked uh, OpenAI and uh, the, the ways that you're putting the solution to work now. Yeah, th there are many, many components of our system that use different AI components. Uh, number one is understanding the transcripts and the context of the language uh, that is present in the videos in speech, in the form of speech. And for this, we use large language models and we do extensive language analysis on top of the LLM outputs. Uh, OpenAI is one of our partners in the LLM area, but we also partnered with Anthropic. So we use a mix of large language models there. And we also use computer vision to analyze the video analysis to understand who's speaking, at what time, what are the you know, gestures that are present, what kind of scenes are present in a video and, and what's in the scene and analyzing that, things like that. We also do audio analysis for understanding emotions and uh, exciting areas of the content that we can bring forward in a teaser, et cetera. And then when incorporating B-rolls, uh, we do understand uh, what media to use, which portion of, let's say, a one-minute stock clip 
that we have to bring um, as the right five seconds of content that we were going to use. So a lot of search optimization and uh, B-roll selection there. And lastly, in, in the area of video technology is bringing the right animations and the transitions, uh, scheduling the right layouts and the light media at the right time. Uh, so, you know, these are some of the, you know, dozen or so areas in which we are using AI today. And OpenAI is one of our important AI partners, of course, but as I mentioned, we're partnered with Anthropic. We're also, uh, we also have other partners in uh, voice uh, models such as Levin Labs and, and Google and others. So uh, yeah, a number of different partners and a lot of in-house models and technologies as well. Now, another important partnership for you is uh, your licensing deal with Getty Images. Tell us why it's important for a video processing solution like Rizzle to have that type of licensed content at hand. So one of the critical goals for us at Rizzle is to be a one-stop platform for video creators. Creating a high-quality video is uh, stressful, is, is hard, and finding relevant B-rolls and clearing the licensing for them is almost impossible task for individual creators and small businesses. This is why we have built strategic content partnerships, such as Getty Images. Um, we have two other important uh, content partners at this time. One is Map Tyler uh, for map content, uh, Statista for data. Uh, so we're able to bring infographics and charts uh, to your videos as well. So these content partnerships will continue to evolve. We'll actually build more of these so that creators uh, can focus on what they do best and focus on their creativity. And Rizzle becomes a platform where they can find the right B-roll for their content no matter what they're talking about. Uh, so that, that's a huge value add that Rizzle's bringing in addition to the capability of editing the video and, and making their production faster and cheaper. Now, one of the ways you make uh, that production faster is uh, enabling video voiceovers. On uh, it can be on an automated basis. Sometime, tell us uh, how you're handling voiceover issues now, and where you see that handled. Uh, where the, where is that going over the next couple of years? You know, voiceovers have come a long way. Uh, we now have um, pretty realistic sounding voices uh, from many of these uh, foundational model platforms. Uh, from uh, from our perspective, we're actually agnostic to the uh, foundational models uh, for the most part. So in, in that sense, we've integrated uh, most of the industry leading solutions. We've actually integrated Google, uh, Microsoft Azure, Amazon Poly, as well as Levin Labs. So uh, on Rizzle, you have a pretty comprehensive coverage of all these industry leading voiceover models and, and you can pick from over a hundred different voices uh, on Rizzle for your video. Now, but beyond that, um, one of the things we've noticed with our customers is that they've been extremely picky about AI voices. Uh, and especially as we work with publishers who have a very high standard of, uh, you know, what their videos sound and feel like, uh, we've, uh, we've constantly been asked for voiceover improvements to make it more and more realistic. Um, and one of the areas where uh, AI voiceovers can be rather poor is handling you know, abbreviations and pronunciations thereof and things like that. So what we've had to do is we've had to build on top of these foundational models to enable things like phonetic text, uh, being able, the ability to add pronunciations for specific terms um, in, in the script so that the AI is pronouncing them correctly. Um, we've also enabled ways in which voiceover can be applied or changed on a scene by scene basis or sometimes even at the sentence level so that you can bring the right emotions uh, when, when this is all going on. So you, you want to perhaps you know, start with an exciting voice and then move over to a more reporting type of voice and then uh, you know, uh, modulate uh, to uh, sadness or anything in the middle that happens, right? Yeah, right. So it's not a monotonic uh, tone from the beginning to the end. So these are all areas in which Rizzo has further enriched uh, the industry leading voiceover solutions. Excellent. So a lot of things that content creators can do with the platform. The question is, how do they pay you? What's your business model? Uh, uh, how does Rizzle make money? So we're a subscription service. Um, so we have a pretty flexible tokenized pricing model for uh, the self-serve tiers on the platform. It's very easy to get started. People can start with as low as $10 a month um, and uh, grow from there. And um, so it's a 
monthly software as a service a subscription model. Uh, we also offer uh, token packs that people can buy. Let's say you start out at $10 a month, but then one month you have a lot more video to make and you can buy a pack for $25 and uh, use that to, as additional tokens. So it's pretty flexible. And these tokens, depending on what you do on the platform, you're charged a variable number of tokens, depending on whether you use B-rolls or whether uh, you're just using your original uh, video and finding the different highlights and clips uh, cuts from it. So, um, so that's on the self-serve side. On the enterprise side, we have a we have an all-inclusive, easy to understand pricing model that just comes with all of our features and comes with premium support and uh, all of that stuff. So, either way, it's a very usage-based pricing model. So, the more video you create, the more you pay us. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, uh, now there's quite a few software developers out there that are. Uh, bringing their own takes to video processing and AI-infused solutions when it comes to content creation. Uh, how are you going about differentiating Rizzle from the pack uh, with that set of competition that's out in the marketplace right now? So uh, it's definitely a, an area that uh, has many players. Um, there isn't one that is quite as comprehensive as Rizzle. Uh, so in terms of being able to start out with text, audio, or video, I believe we're among the only platforms, uh, only platform out there to offer that kind of comprehensive uh, coverage. And uh, we're number one in quality. Uh, and this comes because of our five years of rich video technologies we've built. And so we're not um, new to video at all. Uh, in fact, we're not new to AI. Uh, it, we were doing AI-based video creation before AI was this cool. <laughs> it's uh it's good to have a head start here isn't it but look at your crystal ball for me then um uh where, where are we going say over the next three years or so in terms of the types of applications that ai can uh, infuse or integrate into a platform like rizzle uh, where do you see this going so what i'm most excited by is actually the uh in enhancements and foundational models that are coming up for video whether it's Sora or Vio or Runway or any of these technologies, um, in the future, I definitely see us integrating AI-based video snippets uh, into the overall storytelling process. This enables us to bring personalization. This enables us to bring um, you know, more accurate storytelling uh, in, in the visual sense. Now, keep in mind that editorial content will continue to remain uh, free of AI in the sense that editorial is all about what's happening in the world as they happen. And so I think that footage will continue to remain independent and come from the real world. Uh, but anything that's on the creative side, uh, I see that being impacted and augmented with AI for in a more positive fashion. Uh, so that's where I'm looking for uh, the biggest lift in order for us to tell richer and richer types of stories, uh, create you know memes within the larger video content piece and, and and more of that stuff. Yeah, I think that uh, when you look at uh, uh, traditional content creators, uh, there's great opportunity there and for marketers as well on the business side uh, to create a higher quality level of content uh, in their video outreach campaigns, uh, substantial opportunity there. Some great insight, Vidya. Thanks so much for taking the time to visit with us today. Absolutely, Steve. Uh, great speaking with you and thank you for having me again. And we thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. If you want access to more interviews from the Intelligent Video Today series, follow the link right below there to the YouTube channel for Intelligent Video Today. Subscribe to get notifications of uh, future interviews with thought leaders like Vidya Nara Yenin from Rizzle. For Intelligent Research and Intelligent Video Today, I'm Steve Onderhaar. Thanks for your time.